hey guys welcome back to my channel how have you been so today's vlog is about sugar waxing i know a lot of you can go to the spa right now to get wax so it is easy and painless sugar waxing at so these are all the ingredients we need firstly we need a bowl and a spoon then we need baby powder any type of powder next we need um, lemon juice followed by um, sugar which is the main um, ingredient in sugar waxing any type of sugar we do then we need baby wipes so these are all the um, we also need um, this sugar this um, ice cream spoon I'm very sure a lot of you know it and I also have half diced lemon that I used the other half to um, do a tutorial first make sure I know what I'm getting into before I'm setting up the camera and vlogging this for you guys so yes these are all my ingredients and we'll get right into it yes I forgot to tell you about water so I have my water in a cup right there so we are going to get right into mixing all this ingredient into that bowl firstly we need sugar so you can use any sugar brown sugar white sugar any type of sugar and you can use any amount depending on how much you want to wax and where you are waxing your body so you can use as much sugar as you want next we are going to add our lemon juice you want to make sure you remove every um seeds from the lemon then you squeeze the water into the sugar you squeeze every bit of that water out you don't want to waste any lemon juice we are using half because I am not using any measurements right now I'm just going to be using my instincts to do up the measurement I have done it before so just my instincts so I'm going to remove any excess seed that comes out with the juice the lemon juice and throw that into the bean next up we are going to be adding water a little water you don't want too much water you should be able to use your instincts to ascertain the amount of water you don't want it to take and you don't want it to watery so the right consistency is needed why um you had the water so after this next we need a pot and a plastic spoon i recommend a plastic spoon because steel spoon tends to hold back a lot of product so plastic spoon does the trick better so we are going to pour the uh, mixture into a bowl into a pot i mean sorry into the pot and we are going to put that on the fire to let it cook for as long as it's going to take so you want to stir this while it cooks it is important to stir while it cooks because you don't want any lumps in your wax you know you don't want any lumps any cocoa at all so <laughs> be sure to mix your um, mixture properly the sugar everything mix them evenly at all time you can take you can leave it a couple of me seconds a couple of seconds but make sure you are there to stir it right on time so you're just going to stir it as long as it takes to get ready there is no particular minute or time i won't tell you because while i was even doing this at home i think i've done quite a while a couple of times about four or five times before making this video and i have never timed myself because the quantity i do are different so it depends on the um quantity you're doing so you just have to stir it as much as and you let it cook as long as it takes it does not have a particular time i will not say it has a particular minute it takes to get ready so afterwards you just continue stirring it and you start seeing it it has this foam you know it starts bringing out foams um so there those foams we ascertain that it is all the sugars are actually melting so 
we are just going to let this cook for another couple of minutes before it gets ready so you can see it's all for me this is to tell you that my wax is almost like literally almost ready so we just need it to go a little bit golden more more golden and the consistency should get a little bit more thick then we are ready so i'm just going to do a trial test how i test if my um, waxing is ready and when it's not ready so i'm just going to take a bowl with cold water i'm going to drop a few drops of the um wax inside the cold water once it is once it can mold you know it's not all like that then you know it you know it is actually ready for use so i'm going to set this aside into a bowl and let it cool before starting our waxing process you can see it's all golden and it has that um honey consistency the truth is with this and any honey you wouldn't know which is honey and which is sugar wax it looks exactly like that the consistency it's exactly like that so that is how you want your waxing to look like before um to know that it is ready so we are going to start the waxing processing the, pr the waxing process by cleaning the surface where we want to wax first you need to clean the surface you don't want any dirt because once you start waxing you know your pores are open and you don't want any dirt or germs inside your body so you have to clean the surface i would recommend you squeeze out your wipes first before using before using it to clean the surface because it tends to leave a lot of moisture on your skin and you don't want any moisture while waxing you want the place to be dry so what we do next and while you are cleaning you clean your skin to the direction where your hair flows to as you can see you can see the direction where my hair flows to so that's exactly how i'm going to clean my um skin so because of the moisture that is left i'm just going to take a piece of clothing or a towel you can use a towel uh, a piece of clothing then you wipe that place dry you need it dry before applying your um powder so you apply the powder also to make it as dry as possible you don't need a single moisture because once there is moisture it does not peel easily it will remove the hair it will wax but it won't wax the hair in that area completely and it won't peel easily so you need it to be totally um dry up and you have to be sure that your wax is cooled before you start using it you don't want to burn your skin trust me it's a bad experience so make sure your wax is cool when it's cool then you start applying it to your skin like i'm doing here so this is where the um ice cream spoon comes in you know i can start using um the spoon to wax so i use the ice cream spoon to put in the wax on my skin next use um the baby wipes and place it on top of the wax like i said earlier make sure you squeeze out the excess water from the baby wipes before you apply it so you can see it's all the air it's all gone the reason why i actually use baby wipes is because um it helps cool that place it's painless but there's still some pain when you are waxing no matter how painless it is because you're actually operating hair so when you use baby wipes it tends to cool it while waxing so i'm just going to repeat all the process the process wherever i want to add wax in every area i want to wax so i'm just going to repeat the process there and do the waxing over and over till i am okay with my results so that's it for today's vlog thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned i hope this video helps you to do your waxing at home during this quarantine period you know there is no um no spa is open right now so you can get your body your legs and your hands and every other part of your body you know sparkling and hairless so 
I hope this video helps you out um, do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to leave a comment and tell me what you want to see next in my next tell me what you want to see next and I will be sure to um, make that video for you I hope you can see the results I love it thank you guys I, I will see you in my next vlog bye